Campus ministry is important to me because it personally changed my life. So I was introduced to the Episcopal chaplain at Howard uh, through the chapel office at Howard. And I grew to understand the Bible completely differently uh, interacting with the campus minister there at Howard. My friends, my peers told me, oh, all that church stuff would leave you when you got to school. And for the first few weeks, I was missing something. It was as if I was yearning for a deeper connection with something that I was not trying to say was God. And I ran into the campus minister or the campus chaplain at Howard, and I fell in love with the ministry and everything it represented. We're about embracing. We don't want to force anything on you. We just want to show you, and then you can make your own decision based off of that, and I appreciate that. I like that a lot. Everyone is just really open to learning about each other. No one really seems to come in expecting it to be a group of people who are like them, but everyone just seems really interested in getting to know everyone else who's involved and getting to discover kind of whatever we can together. I grew up in a rough neighborhood. Um, I was a adolescent who was in trouble all the time, getting kicked out of school. I ended up running in trouble with the law. Also, um, my family wasn't big on education, so it just was like hopeless for me to think about um, pursuing anything higher than high school. I have been so formed by being in intentional community. Um, I am a retired Marine, and that was definitely a community of men and women from every walk of life. I see the church in the same way. You know, becoming a Christian is a choice. And, and it does become our identity as an individual, but more importantly, we become the body of Christ, you know, uh, all together with everything we bring to the table. I'm the Episcopal Chaplain at Georgetown University, and I do it because I love it. I do non-traditional ministry because it's a chance to get outside the walls of the church. There's a whole world of people out there that we aren't going to reach unless we go out there and get them. One thing that's interesting about working with college students is that it's a real opportunity to come along with and be with people when they're questioning everything about their world. From what are they going to be when they get out of college? Who are they? Why are they here? Why are we on earth? And if we're not there being with them and asking those questions with them, then I don't think we're doing our job as the church. If I give back to them, by just mentoring them or just talking to them, even teaching them, is just one thing that I feel will be important. I made the decision to participate in campus ministries as the interim campus minister because I wanted to share the importance of what's going on in this generation. There is a change and a shift going on with millennials and it's different from when I wasn't even an undergrad. It's different from my mother's time in college. And I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to make it known that it's important that we really fuel this change that's going on in the church uh, with young adults and recognize that we need to pass the baton on to millennials in a strong way for the church. Thomas Cramer, the primary architect of the prayer book, uh, set out to take the Christian faith and tradition to as many people as possible, to make it accessible to as many people as possible. And he did so by putting this faith and tradition into the common vernacular of the people of his time and by using the best technology available to him. We feel that our task is not so different, but to take this enduring faith that we have in Jesus Christ and bring it to all those that we have the opportunity and privilege to do so. The gospel itself is scandalous. It doesn't need us to make a spectacle of it. Rather, our task is to take the good news into the most common place, everyday parts of everyday, everybody's lives and announce that God's presence is already there. To name it, to celebrate it, to fight for it, and to declare that this is good news. That's what commonplace is. It's scary <laughs> and it's amazing all at the same time. Um, but it feels right um, and that's why I'm here. To put it simply, I just like, out of the Episcopalian Church, I just feel love. Like, I just feel that everything is about love and loving one another, and it just feels so welcoming and open, and I'm 
proud to be an Episcopalian because I'm proud to share it with other people and to welcome them into it also.